What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Nick from Der Crypto Cat, where we focus on DeFi and all other types of crypto passive income sources. I hope you all are having a great day today. Today, we've got a little bit of a video on the piggy bank and how I think it might be an underrealized uh, mega asset, mega play uh, coming into the launch, relaunch of the animal farm. But before we get into it, I just wanted to thank each and your, each and every one of you for visiting the channel, watching my videos. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, consider subscribing if you are not already, and uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Pig Bank. If you're in it, if you're not, if you're interested, let me know what you think about it and how it plays into the Animal Farm relaunch. And don't forget that none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is purely for educational and entertainment resources. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so the Animal Farm relaunch is now less than a week away. All of us are very excited, except for some of us in drip because the drip price is suffering a little bit right now. But those of us that are faithful and uh, actually have some knowledge and history in the system know that it won't be there for long. It's going to rocket back up as soon as the Animal Farm gets relaunched and some utility gets put back into the system. So never fear, drip will still be there. But we're talking about the animal farm. We're talking about the piggy bank today. And uh, I think the piggy bank is going to be is an underutilized or underrated um, mega play for the animal farm relaunch. A lot of people aren't talking about the piggy bank at all. It's really not getting any playtime on YouTube. And uh, and I don't know really why, because right now might be the perfect time to get in. And I'm going to explain a little bit of that, why that might be right now. So guys, stay tuned for the rest of the video, please, because we're going to get into it. Now, a lot of people are talking about the farms and the pools and for good reason. Uh, and they're also talking about the drip garden because the drip garden is bleeding right now like crazy. The decay rate is nuts. The, uh, the contract balance has gone down about 50,000 LP, I think it is. Uh, so a lot of people are, are complaining about the drip garden. Uh, but really what they need to understand is people are just pulling out money in preparation to put them in the farms and pools so it's expected that it's gonna it's gonna suffer a little bit but i think it's gonna bounce back so again the a lot of attention is elsewhere on the animal farm and no attention is being paid to the big bank but i think right now is a good time and this is why guys Piggy bank is a deleverage play on the pig price just like the drip garden is a leverage play on the drip price and so when the pig when the pig price goes up the piggy bank uh, is going to is going to boost along with it. So unfortunately, with the new UI on the piggy bank page, we don't have a, a value here like we do on the drip garden that shows how many total LPs are locked. And I don't know why they excluded that from there. It's really kind of valuable data. If anybody knows any website or any tool out there, or whether it be on Dune or somewhere else where we can track the LPs that's locked into the contract, other than BSC scan, uh, please let me know in the comments because I'd really like to be able to keep an eye on that. So I have no idea what the current sentiment is on the piggy bank, whether it's going up or down like the uh, drip garden is. But uh, with that said, uh, and with that said, and the, the pig price, you know, going up like this and and with only a week away from the launch i expect it to go up some quite a bit more we've got a lot of room to go don't forget that during the initial launch of the pigs that it capped out at a thousand dollars so not saying we're going to get there but uh we have a lot of potential stacked up in the piggy bank and a lot of fomo is going to be dumping in we've got a lot of marketing thousands of dollars of marketing uh all over twitter and youtube and the web so guys, a lot of attention is going to be going into the animal farm and the pigs, uh, I think, are going to get eaten up pretty fast. So so that's why I think this is really a major play. And I'm going to tell you what I'm doing now. I kind of switched my strategy. So if you saw any of my previous videos from a couple months back when the piggy, piggy bank uh, relaunched, you'll know that I had planned to do, I had at the time, I had a one week and a four week and an eight week and a four week, which was supposed to be 
It was supposed to be one, uh, one and eight and eight, if I recall. I don't remember my original plan exactly, but I screwed up, so I ended up having two four-week plans instead of two eight weeks or something like that. Anyways, um, so I had these I had these banks established, and what I ended up doing or planning on doing was an alternate claim and harvest or rather claim and compound strategy, which you can see I executed here as as each of the unlocks became or as each of the time locks got unlocked, I switched, you know, I, I went to an alternating strategy. But unfortunately, because the pig price was suffering so badly at the time, I kind of had to stop that strategy around uh, around the 7th of what is it, uh, August? If I'm reading right here, yeah, August. So I had to sw switch my strategy and switch to only compounding just to kind of save my butt here because it was just losing like crazy. Um, so what I ended up doing was I, sa I had saved up enough LPs to to uh, basically pay myself back for some of the LPs for for at least my eight week bank that I had made. Um, and I had as of October 1st, I decided to make a new eight week bank with the LPs that I had stocked up before and um, and start a new eight week bank. So I started that up with 19 LPs. And then on my other banks, I switched from my strictly compounding strategy to my back to my alternating claim and compound. And what I have noticed so far, it's only been a week and a half, but I have noticed so far um, that the dollar amount at least is going down slower than it had been before back up here. So it's a little bit hard to track because we're looking at dollar value here and not like uh, the amount of LP that I'm harvesting because that's harder to do in the piggy bank than it is in the garden. So uh, so it's strictly looking at dollar value here. Uh, so take that for what it is, okay? But that's what that's the strategy I'm going with. And I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I have at least a better chance of succeeding now with the pig price going positively uh, than I did before. So that's why I kind of reinstated my strategy. I knew that the, the animal farm was going to be relaunching here within the next week now. So uh, I have a good chance of at least potentially making some, some, in, some income here. Now, the, if, if this goes well, the original plan was to create a new eight week um, time lock every four weeks with increasing amounts of LP. Because if this goes right, I should be able to accumulate enough LP from all of my previous time locks that are still open and, and I'm able to claim from. I should be able to um, harvest enough from those in the four weeks to create a new eight week that's bigger than the previous. Uh, at least that's the thought and that's the math around it. So we'll see if that works out. I'll be sure to make a video in the near future as to how that's working out. But that's my play. So guys, if you want to get into um, into the piggy bank, this is how you do it. You want to go to the animal farm. Of course, all my links will be down in the description if you want to use that for easy, ease of use. But uh, the first thing you need to go to is liquidity and go to add liquidity. You'll go to right here and you'll just enter how much uh, BSD you want to uh, use. And then that'll tell you how much pigs you're gonna buy. And then you have to approve the things here and then add liquidity. Now that'll create your pigs BUSD LP tokens. And then you can go back to the piggy bank over here and you can buy piglets with your LP tokens. Now. The thing that separates the pig bank from the trip garden is these time locks. And you'll get a, uh, a bonus depending on how many weeks you time lock it for. So depending how risky you want to go, you can go all, all the way out three years and get a 149,000% uh, bonus on your principal. But um, keep in mind that you're going to have to Come back every day and uh, and compound it in order to get your bonus. If you miss the day of uh, of of compounding, then you miss that day's bonus. So be very aware of that. It is a is it's, it's a bit of maintenance to keep this up. Okay. Um, so I'm sticking I'm sticking with eight week bonuses because it gives me a 23% bonus here, or sorry, eight week time locks give me a 23% bonus. And, uh, and then it goes out from there. It's kind of exponential. So if you go out 
24 weeks, it's 300%, you know, uh, and one year is 3,813%. I think, uh, I think a year is a pretty safe play, but it's a year of maintenance, you know, thinking about it every day, you have to have an alarm set. So I think, uh, I think having a, an eight week is a pretty good thing that you can just kind of plan on uh, and then you can ladder them out as you see fit now don't don't forget that these piggy banks that you make once they're unlocked they're still there they're, you still have to maintain them you still have to harvest every day or not harvest you have to compound uh mostly every day to keep up with the decay rate it's exactly like the drip garden once the things are unlocked so keep that in mind it's a bit of a maintenance nightmare right now and unfortunately there's no way to like combine all the non-time lock stakes. So keep that in mind. If you're planning on laddering, you're going to be increasing the number of piggy banks that you have, you know, as time goes on. So keep that in mind. Um, all right. So that's about it for the pig bank today. I think it is a massively underrated tool right now uh, with the relaunch of the animal farm and with piggy price going up into the right and planning for more of that. I think it could be an easily undervalued asset. So guys, consider the piggy bank. Uh, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And don't forget to, you um, um, can use my links down in the description. And if you do join the piggy bank and join team to Pet down here, uh, come and in, come into my telegram group and let me know that you joined the team and then maybe I'll give you a little piggy airdrop, okay? So, and let me know if you have any questions, put your voice down in the comments down, down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, don't forget that when you follow the crypto app, passive 